Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from inside the Crusher. I'm heading south to Boynton Beach, uh, West Palm Beach, Palm Beach County. I got eye surgery tomorrow and I'm sitting here thinking I had a couple of phone calls and this is a very, very important uh, video that I'm going to make. And I want to start out if I don't worry about this guy running off the road in front of me, he's driving erratic. I guess he's all right. I want to be not semi, I want to be serious. I want to be absolutely serious uh, from my heart after reflecting on this. It's so, it's so wild. Uh, I want to be honest about something to you, my community. You're like, oh boy, what's he going to talk about? <laughs> uh, it's serious. It's nothing probably what you think. And you won't be surprised when you hear what it is. In fact, I hope it relieves a lot of you that have been annoyed with it. And when you are annoyed with what I'm going to say that I've said in the past, I've actually defended myself with, with vigor that that's part of me. Those are the way, that's the way I talk. That's my personality. That's a sense of humor. That is not bad. Uh, lighten up. But what I've found out and being a YouTuber is, and I'm trying to look at you with my glasses off. I need to put them on because my eyes are really hurting in this blinding light here. But I want to look at you. And we have a lot of people out there that watch me as one person that inform me about what I want to um, confess and apologize for is a lot of people are literal. You know, I, I know this already because all my years in selling, you have some people, do you know what I mean by that? They're literal, they just, I don't wanna say they don't have a sense of humor or they don't get things. They take things literally, <laughs> they really do. And I had forgotten that, I, it was my mistake. And so here's, I'll get to it. All right. You see, that was enough prelude. Let me get to it. I've said in my videos over and over and over that I have sayings, that I have a sense of humor. And my sayings are prison job. Uh, I used the saying that you can't believe a darn thing I say, but I say the other word with the D. And uh, you can help me in, in the comments. I'm sure you probably will. Like, yeah, you also say this. I find very offensive. Those are the two things. The curse word by saying the D word. And the people that are literally happy with their jobs that even though I've explained it's just an expression, I had a prison job too. And now I'm calling part-time uh, side hustles, prison side hustles. I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to be who I am. But you really just, just like the former president, you can't be all the time, just be right off the cuff. You've got to, you got to be articulate. You, you, you can't offend. If, if it doesn't gain any subscribers or views, that's not a problem. But if it loses even one, that's not good. And it's really not about subscribers and views. It's just that if you're taking the time to watch me and you like me, as one person said, hey, I like your videos. I like you, but I don't like the cussing. And I think, when I, I remember this comment. I think it was a lady that left it. 
and I, I just kind of blew it off like the D word is cussing or you don't hear worse than that every day on the streets but what's that got to do with her wanting to listen to me and liking all my videos except when I said something that was offensive to her here you are giving these devotionals talking about God and stuff and then the next thing out of your mouth, you're saying, you can't believe a darn thing I say, which is just a saying, by the way. I mean, it's a little bit true about I'm going to keep something and I might return it, but you can believe what I say. I'm not saying that, but the D, the D word, okay? And then the prison jobs, I, I, realize, I realize that annoys a lot of people, and Listen, I get annoyed by some of the things I've read about me, but that's not, I'm not trying to, to deflect. Let's get back to what I, I did wrong, okay? I hereby make an apology. If by any chance you see me again and you see this video or you hear about it, then I'm not going to use those terms again, prison job, prison side hustle, prison anything. I still talk about collecting your Social Security 62, and I'm a believer in that. And I realize there are some people that think that they should wait. And I realize that if you make too much money and you love your job, that would be the only reason that you shouldn't because you couldn't keep the money anyway. So I state all, I state all of that. But the prison term and the D word or any other cuss word, especially when I sit and tell people, Quit cussing. There's plenty of other words you can use to communicate and uh, to express the English language. You don't need to cuss or, you know, talk about God and then, you know, and say that. I didn't think it was that. I said it in a sense of humor. I didn't say it like I'm just naturally talking and I have to curse because I try not to. But I do realize now from a conversation that I had with a subscriber that said, hey, Tim, can I be critical a little bit? And you guys know how I take criticism. I'll block you right away. <laughs> no, only if you really go below the belt. And I know some people will disagree with that, but everyone that I've ever blocked, there was no reason for you to say, what you said, and there is no reason that you should think that you would ever have an opportunity to say something like that again. So you were gone. But let's get back to what I did wrong. Let's get back to what I, I'm apologizing about. So he said, can I be critical? I said, sure. Nobody likes to hear constructive criticism, but I've always said in my videos that I like to know how I can do better. I like to know what I can do uh, to be better. I really do. I really, really do. And so I listened. And at first I thought, when it was the D word, he said, you know, I read a comment. Here's what he said. I read a comment not, not too long ago. This guy's an avid comment reader. I read a comment some time ago, Tim, that it was a lady, I think it was a lady, that said, I like your videos, but I don't like the cussing. And I don't know what my response was, but he, or, or if I did. But he told me after that, that I turned my mom on to you. And his mom, you know, was an elderly woman and a Christian woman, a non-cussing woman and maybe more of a literal woman and doesn't want to hear it. Not one word from somebody that one side of their mouth, they're telling people how to believe in God and trust in God. And the next side of their mouth, they're saying, you can't believe a D thing I say. Even though that part was a kind of a joke, the word with the D offended her. And so she unsubscribed and didn't want to watch. And so when I learned this, I thought, 
and he reminded me, it's not the people that don't care of the views and the subscribers that will view you and subscribe to you that don't care about that. You should be concerned about the ones that will unsubscribe. And like the Bible teaches, when the, uh, when the one sheep went away, the, herder le the sheep herder left the whole herd to get the one sheep back. So I told him, I said, please, I, I apologize to her myself if I could talk to her. I said, please tell her that I, I won't do it again. And I won't. I won't say my, my saying. I probably won't even say it without being on video to other people because you never know who's literal or who is offended by that. And so as a grown man, as an adult that made that mistake over and over and over since I've been making these YouTube videos, thinking it was all cute and funny, it isn't. And even though the criticism I was getting from this friend of mine wasn't so much about the prison job because he agreed that although he you know made good money in his job that there would be plenty of Monday mornings that he would wake up and he would not only think about having to go back that day but how was he going to get through that whole week so you know the prison job but it, even though it's not a cuss word if it's annoying now I can't stop everything that annoys you <laughs> I got plenty of other things that will replace that. I can hear it now. But those two things won't be uh, won't be said again. And for anybody that's been tolerating it, that hasn't unsubscribed, or they wish they could tell me, or worried I'd get my feelings hurt, block you or something, you don't have to worry. Uh, I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to say it again. It doesn't do anything or make anything. I've got plenty of other funny bones I can make you laugh because I am a I am a funny guy. I do have a sense of humor, and I will continue to be Tim. But Tim values everyone's feelings, and we don't hang our head on this channel when we talk about God. We have a dedicated part of the channel. And probably any cuss word uh, could be offensive to those that are like, wait a minute, one side he says that, and the next time he's, he's using some cuss words. So please accept my apology and know that I won't do it again. And uh, I hope that I didn't lose anybody. And I, I, I don't know what else to say about it other than I had an epiphany when he gave me this constructive criticism and I'm glad that I listened to him. I'm glad that this person cared enough to tell me because he could have said, because this is not someone that would take offense to that because off camera, he's a guy and I'm a guy. And although I don't, you know, cuss even off camera, that much I do and slip like we all do but I don't but I don't try to you know try to do it it slips like I said when I drop something I can lose my religion I got uh, Tourette's <laughs> this is a cool looking car that blue one got a spoiler on the back anyway um, I'm glad that this individual, after I, I called him to catch up, and he listened. This person, this person is a godsend in my life. This person has been a big ear, a, a huge ear to a lot of things that a lot of you don't know about in my life, my personal life, things that I can't, and I share it. I know I share everything and I put my life out here and I don't care, but there's a, a line. There is a line with everybody. I'm not stupid. You know, there's certain things you just can't say and it's not about getting demonetized or anything like that. It's just, 
it's nobody else's business and it's personal but we do have people that we can share with and he is one of these kinds of people that came into my life and I've been able to share some things with and he always seems to uh, with an unbiased opinion you know give me his feedback and we need that that's why we have psychologists I guess in this world <coughs> I guess they're really worth something but then at the end of the uh, conversation when I'm venting telling all about my life to him he cared enough to say can I talk to you about something and that's what it was and I said wow that was really you know and I've and I've thought it I fight the the people pushing back well I don't consider my job a prison job I like my job some of us out there like our job and I and I would like you know scoff at it like who likes a job who wouldn't want to not have to go to work but still be able to pay their bills but I was missing the whole point that maybe they wouldn't want to work but they don't consider it because they're a literal person it a prison job and don't like to hear that and it's not my job to sit here and tell you things that you don't need to hear that are not not good and somebody needs to tell the media that you're gonna to have to forgive me I have to go I have to go dark it's really hurting so that's it. I'm not going to just keep repeating it, but I'm sincerely sorry. I hope I didn't lose anybody. And if anybody happens to, uh, you know, jump back on and uh, resubscribe or hear a devotion, you're not going to hear, you can't believe a darn thing I say. I don't know. Maybe I could say that. <laughs> no, because that still means some people are literal. They, they can't believe me. So I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say it anymore from my life. And I'm not going to say prison job on video anymore. And that's all I wanted to say. Is there anything else I'm trying to think that is totally... And you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to let you know in the comments. Everything about your channel is offensive. <laughs> you're collecting the Social Security at 62. Your math, your, your, your equations, your everything well that's the only thing I'm gonna apologize for the other stuff that's my opinion that's the way I like it that's what I believe in and a lot of people agree about collecting their Social Security at 62 and if you want to wait till you're a hundred or 70 or 67 then go for it go for it but all this reasons why you're not gonna convince me like I'm not gonna convince you so I put it out there, and you can do with what you want with it. But we won't be putting any more cuss words out or telling people um, they have a prison job. That's it. Now, let's continue crushing it.